Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about definite integrals. In problem number 43, uh, we have some information given to us, and we want to find a definite integral. And we're told if the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx is 2, the integral from 3 to 6 of f of x dx is negative 5, and the integral from 3 to 6 of g of x dx is 1, then we need to find this integral. All right, so if we're trying to find this integral, what we can do is we can break this thing up into some pieces. Because if we have a definite integral over a difference, then I can break that up into two different definite integrals. What I could write is the following that this is the integral from 3 to 6 of 3 f of x dx minus the integral from 3 to 6 of g of x dx. All right, so I was able to break that integral up over this difference. Now that I've done that, notice that, that 3 is a constant constants can move in and outside of integral signs. So I can take this 3 and move it outside of the integral. If I do, then I would get 3 integral from 3 to 6 of f of x dx minus the integral from 3 to 6 of g of x dx. Both of the definite integrals that are left over here are definite integrals that I am given in the problem. The first one is integral from 3 to 6 of f of x dx. I know that that is negative 5. So this is 3 times this definite integral, which I know is negative 5, minus this integral, the integral from 3 to 6 of g of x dx. The integral from 3 to 6 of g of x dx I know is 1. So this is minus 1. So I get 3 times minus 5, which is minus 15, minus 1 is minus 16. And so negative 16 is my answer. 